The young teenager who police say led them on a wild chase Saturday morning remains in the hospital tonight. Now, concerns growing over the number of cars being stolen in Youngstown by teens. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti looks into that issue. I need a 55 and I need another car. This is how a police chase ended Saturday morning. Officers say a 13-year-old driving a stolen Kia slammed into a pole across from Youngstown's number one fire station downtown. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Despite the young suspect's age, detectives say he's had previous run-ins with the law. Our investigation, you know, reveals so far that he is part of a larger group of juveniles that are stealing these cars, like the two we caught last week. Twice last week, police say juveniles were caught in the act of stealing cars on the south side, one on Ambert Avenue, the other on Wakefield Avenue. It's these juveniles, you know, very frequently, if not exclusively, are leading our officers on pursuits, uh, which endangers the public and clearly themselves. But in both cases, the young suspects were never detained at the county's juvenile justice center. A supervisor told me neither fit the facility's criteria to be housed there. It turns out other agencies have had similar instances of juveniles being denied by the JJC. In Austin Town, police encountered a 15-year-old with a concealed weapon that police reports state was recommended to be taken home, as well as a 13-year-old charged with assault that again did not meet the facility's requirements for incarceration. And we've learned of examples from the Mahoning County Sheriff where offenders were either refused or calls were simply never answered. A supervisor with the sheriff says the center is a valuable tool for law enforcement, adding his officers share frustration over JJC standards over which offenders can be accepted and which cannot. Police are hoping Saturday's suspect will be housed there when he's released from the hospital. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.